Good morning YouTube. I just picked up a uh, Power Horse 2000 watt portable generator and wanted to have it for an emergency to charge up my Chevy Bolt. Um, being that it's only electric, I get 239 miles range electric and I have a level 2 in my garage to charge. But if the power is ever out in there, I do have an emergency connection in the house for the battery bank for the solar, but just to have the generator as a backup. The problem with these generators is they're not bonded internally for the neutral ground. So when you try to connect them, you're going to get an air light. And basically on the charger, this red light will come on unless you make a uh, workaround. And basically it's a plug with just a loop going between the neutral and ground. So when you plug this in here, this is now grounded the neutrals on all the plugs. So now when I start it up, this will come on with the red and the green and it'll go green and I'm able to actually charge the car at 12 amps. And I'll show you how that works. Basically when I started up, I let the generator idle down after about a minute or so, and then I'll hook up the charger and you'll hear it kick up when the loads kick in on the car. And I've got it set to charge at 12 amps. kicked in. charging the interrupt occurred where I uh, turned the generator off earlier doing a test but I'll and I have the charging set to 12 amps you can adjust this down eight and the uh, the generator will kick down if you go down to eight amps Continuous recording will now start GPS connected. and I'll show the charge port connected and then shows the uh, complete 100% charge we done by 915 and it's actually at 100%